Welcome back to my face. I've actually been wanting to make I've been wanting to talk about this for a while, but I didn't know like when or how or like how long it would take honestly um, But I wanted to talk about like why I don't really do like modeling stuff anymore Disclaimer, I am not like a serious model like I didn't do anything like Serious I'm you know to to start off. I am like five Two or five three. I don't know. It changes every day. Um, five three on a good day, I guess. I like can't ever be like an official like model for like somewhere unless they accept petite people, which I can do that. But I, that is not what I want to do anymore. <laughs> I used to be kind of like an Instagram model. Which is weird, like, I don't like saying that because that just sounds like it's something, like, else. But for me, it was more of, like, I did, like, I feel like everyone is an Instagram model now. Like, anyone can do that. But for me in particular, I did photo shoots with uh, photographers. Like, I did a lot of, like, uh, they're called collaborations with photographers. And um, it's not the t stereotypical like Instagram model. There's just like a bunch of photos of me that I took. You know, it's it's not that like it's other artists. It's it's artists who take these photos of me, and they share it, and then you know I'm tagged in there, and then this is kind of how it started. Like uh, my boyfriend is a photographer. He's a very talented uh, fashion photographer, and he does all sorts of cool like abstract stuff too, and like architectural like city stuff um and it's stuff that I've never even seen before and stuff I didn't know even know you could do but he does it somehow and it's amazing but um he brought me along to this like Instagram meetup type of thing and I just went along you know just to see what he does um just because I wanted to know about the whole like culture behind like shooting with a bunch of people because he had um he's always been shooting with different models and just whoever um so i wanted to go to kind of like meet everyone and there were like 50 models and photographers that showed up it was in a public area um in chicago some people wanted to start taking pictures of me too and i was like oh like you know i didn't really come here to do that like I'm not a model like I didn't know if there was like some like sign up thing that I had to you know like mm, like consent or something but people just asked me like uh is it cool if I take your photo so then I was out here like just like posing and doing like things and then um other photographers kept like coming in and like you know coming in and out and being like okay go over here now go over here. and it just became like the, the whole time I was you know people were just telling me what to do from then on and then I was like oh my gosh like this is this is kind of cool like um and then um I guess like a lot of photos from that day oh my god stop a lot of photos from that day were um posted of me and I was like tagged uh in like on all of the, it was just like my face was just like spread out on all these other accounts and stuff um so then you know that's how people find me because they they see it on like several other people so it's like I guess the way that it was that it works in Chicago is that it's kind of like a community so if you know this model you'll be connected to all these other models so it's like people have never seen me before and you kind of see the same people over and over again not saying anyone is boring but you do kind of get familiar with like who's around in Chicago at least I don't know how it is in other cities I'm sure it's like way different in other cities but you kind of like see the same people you see the same like photographers and like different you know the same models kind of like <coughs> you just kind of get a grasp on who is out there and who's around and um, so I was like a brand new face that was just like plastered everywhere and it, and then a lot of people started messaging me and getting in contact with me and being like oh like can I shoot with you and I'd be like I would just go on and accept like everyone who was asking me at the time because I was excited and I was like wow Charlie has been the only person who has shot me like for for years and I had never thought that I, you know, it was like a, an uplifting experience for me, which I'm grateful for. I didn't think that I was like, 
I, I'm not saying I'm ugly, but I'm saying like I didn't think that my face was something that other people would want to use and you know just it was just like a nice it was nice to feel wanted um nice to have my image feel wanted in a way because I had never had that before like I do not get attention in that way so that whole thing started I started shooting with all types of people um like at first it was like everyone who wanted to shoot with me I would shoot with them but then I, I, you know, I quickly started to realize, like, oh my gosh, this is tiring. I need to research who I'm shooting with because I ended up shooting with all these people who just, like, didn't know how to do things. And I was just, like, like, I guess because they, they saw that I was, like, new at this, too. So they're like, oh, I'm new, so, like, she'll want to shoot with me. Um, I don't know. I feel like a lot of it people were kind of taking taking advantage of my situation of like not knowing like what was really happening and I kind of wish that I could watch a video like this where someone would talk about their experience um with like modeling and like shoots and stuff so um that's how it all like started um but then I just ended up I just really felt like I, I'm not saying that I'm above anyone, but a lot of the time, people, I kind of just, like, realized that they were just using me because I had, like, a bigger audience than them, and, um, yeah, a lot of people were just kind of starting out, and, like, not, you know, I'd be like, oh, okay, like, sure, but, like, I don't know, I just felt like if, if I didn't have the followers that I had, that people wouldn't even care to like shoot with me you know but a lot of time I met some very genuine people and they're still my friends today and I that is super great that is amazing like I'm so glad that I met um all these really cool people um like I feel like I have a lot of like uh you know I don't, it's not like I hang out with these people all the time but it's like a nice people who like I, we reply to each other's stories and and kind of have like conversations from there that kind of you know um you know just kind of like service level stuff but just like really nice um like it it's just nice to get like good uplifting messages and feel uh really good about yourself and and um we just boost each other's confidence like the models that I've met are so nice like I've done makeup for some of them so like such great people like I've never met anyone uh, any model who made me feel like I was less than I was because I feel like the Instagram uh collab community is different from like actual like high-end fashion photography where people are very like cut edge I don't even uh, yeah you know cutthroat kind of like all right go but it's, it's more chill you you I don't know I think the people on Instagram are more unique in a way because it's like yeah we don't have like the actual like model like I mean you know some of them do but I'm saying like people like me like at my level I'm not like Kendall Jenner or anything like anyone like that where I, you know I I look a little I look different and and I I um, you know, I've learned to love my unique look of being, like, mixed race, mixed, you know, ethnicities, um, and I think other people like that, too, and so it was really cool to meet other people who are kind of like, uh, like me in a way, but I'm not trying to say, I'm not trying to compliment myself, but you, you know what I mean, like, like more people who aren't, like, supermodel status, but just re really cool, had cool style and everything, it's just really nice, but, photographers I was it was just like a lot like I was booking shoots on like every free day that I had so I never had any free time anymore and then people would be really lame about sending photos back there are still shoots that I've shot like six months ago maybe a year ago that I never got the photos back like it's different when it's an Instagram meetup because they don't you know a lot of times you don't even get to exchange information like you you can and then it's just like usually they're kind of like yeah I'll find you it's easy to find people but um, if you, you do like a one-on-one -on -one shoot with someone and 
and they don't send you the photos that's so lame that's hours of your own time and work like I'm not just doing this for fun it was a fun hobby but I wanted to get something out of it besides just like hanging out with someone uh for a bit you know like it, it, I wanted to take advantage of the artistic expression that this was giving to us between two people it really takes two people to create something so amazing and there are some really uh, amazing people who collaborate, but um, it just wasn't happening for me like the way that I wanted it to. And a lot of the time, photographers were kind of promising the wrong things to me and just messaging me and being like, oh, wow, I like your style. Like, let's do this and this. And then I show up and then we kind of shoot for a bit. But then... Um, I get the photos back and it's just like not what I wanted at all like like I'm a very I have like very colorful stuff on my Instagram feed so that is why that is like I want more of that like that's my like theme I guess like colorful stuff and then I get all these like black and white photos sent to me it's like that's not what you promised and a lot you know it just not saying black and white is bad like I love a good black and white photo if it's done the right way but it, it was just like a lot of unfulfilled promises or just a lot of times uh, photographers were making me feel uncomfortable um, nothing bad has really happened to me but there was um, an instance where um, there there have been just been instances where these photographers don't really like check in on you they're just kind of like, like, you know, when you're shooting, they're just kind of like, okay, now do this. Do, they don't say like, oh, are you, are you okay with doing this? Like there was, um, one photographer who made me lay out, um, like on the street, like my full body, like just like on the street, like posing. And, you know, I, like I was okay with that for like, you know, a little bit, like a minute, but then like cars were coming and stuff. And like, there was, you know like a security guard who was telling us hey don't do that and like and I, w I was like I don't want to do this hey can 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 I get up like I I don't feel comfortable I don't feel comfortable doing this at all when somebody says I don't feel comfortable that's like that should be it like oh okay like I'm so sorry you know the proper response would be like oh you're not comfortable I'm so sorry let's you know I don't want you to be com uncomfortable at all but no this photographer was just like oh no you're good you're good don't worry you're good you're fine. Excuse me? I just said that I was not fine. I'm not okay with this. Like, it's just like stuff like that, that uh, a lot of people need to be more aware of. Like, if, if you, if you're with someone, just in general, not even for photo shoots, but if someone says that they are uncomfortable, you need to acknowledge that and ask them what you can do to help. Because this guy didn't know my mental state at all. He did, He doesn't know that I have panic attacks sometimes and that I get really stressed out and I have anxiety in certain situations that, you know, he didn't know that me laying on the road could like trigger me or something. You don't, you just don't know these things about people. And there are just, there were just a lot of people I met who didn't really care about like my uh, mental well being. And it's just not cool and it turns me off and I just don't want to I don't want to risk being in a situation like that again because that was a very mild situation but something could get worse there could be like some something weird um, that could happen and I've heard a lot of stories about um, photographers like really coming onto the models and everything and that's just dangerous you always give your location to a friend uh, my location is always turned on for my boyfriend and I think my sister and my mom and probably other people who I like uh, and trust and always tell people where you're going if you're getting into this, these kind of situations because you don't know um, if you've never met these people in person you really don't know how they're gonna be in real life um, yeah and it's just a lot of times I was feeling really used by a lot of people and just like I was doing favors for people and not getting anything in return like all I wanted was just photos like 
not even just so I could post, but just I like having photos I could send to my mom or, or someone, you know, to kind of be like, hey, look what I've been up to. This is a fun hobby that I've been doing. Um, but if these photos like just aren't good, like I wasted the entire day, like I just wasted so much time. And I know that I should be getting paid for my work, but I had been doing so much for free. I do my own hair and makeup and I style myself. Like I've never had anybody else um, style me unless uh, I did uh, a shoot where I was like wearing someone else's clothing or my friend Claire, I do photo shoots uh, in her clothing. So, um, it's great working with friends too because my boyfriend, he's a photographer, and then my friend Claire, she designs beautiful garments and I get to model them and it's just, that is like the best situation for me. I still do it with friends, I still model with friends, but I'm just more iffy on um, meeting up with people I don't know that I've never met before. Even if their work is amazing, I don't know how they are going to treat me. Um, no matter how many followers they have, like they can have 20,000 followers and maybe I could gain some from that, but it, it like, I just don't really want to deal anymore um, with that because I get nervous every time like that I have to meet up with someone and it was really um, taking a hit on my mental health. Um, just even waking up in the morning and getting ready and going, having to commute to a shoot, it would just, you know, I started not looking forward to it anymore and it made me like really, really sad that I was spending all my free time and not doing something that I really liked anymore. And um, my Instagram account has always been like art, so like kind of like makeup and modeling and so a lot of people would see my Instagram, like my makeup stuff, and they'd be like, ooh, can you do, like, th like, people would request a specific look from me, like, oh, can you, like, wear, like, can you do this look again so we can shoot, because I know a good place to shoot and it has those colors, and I'm like, yeah, I'm so down for that, I'm always down for that, um, to help, like, help me get, um, you know, document my work, which is, my work is, I do my work on my face. A lot of my, like, I consider myself a makeup artist. So it would really help me. And a lot of times those have worked out and I enjoy it. I love it so much. But I don't like it when people uh, come across as that. Like, they do the whole, like, yeah, wear this look. We're going to get all specific here. Um, and then they just don't even, like, take the take like headshots or anything just like so far away they just want my silhouette or something I'm like like that's not what I want I don't know like I know a lot of it is like miscommunication and you really really have to make sure like no matter how like there were times where I really was just like okay like everything is like planned out and then the, then at the last second they just change it and it's just like, I'm like, oh, well, like, don't you, didn't you want to do, like, the makeup stuff? And they're like, oh, actually, like, can you just wear these, like, sunglasses? No way in hell. I spent, like, I spend so much time, I spend even a longer amount of time on my makeup if I am doing a photo shoot because I know that, like, the details count. Especially if they tell me that they're going to do close-up shots, I got to be prepared. And then... People tell me, oh, like, wear, like, these sunglasses or this hat that's gonna cast a shadow over your face. Are you kidding me? Why did I come here? You could have used anyone for this. Seriously. Seriously. And, of course, if it's not the aesthetic that, that pleases me, I'm not gonna post it. And that's what people expect. People expect me, they, they just want to do their own thing. Of course, I'm not gonna, like, repost. Um, but, you know, for me, the purpose wasn't just getting content it was for the experience i love meeting people but it just was too much i felt like i was wasting too much time um but you know i am grateful for the experiences that i have had and um i am definitely more confident than i have ever been before 
um, I just feel like a lot of the times I was just ripped off even though I didn't have to pay anything and these photographers were shooting for free um, but you know we are both the both the photographer and the model we're both doing work here so you know typically one pays the other but since it was like oh like we're on the same level it's a collab like I was okay with that I was okay with that for an entire an entire year um, of doing this same thing but I had to announce to everyone hey I gotta take a break this is just not good like I don't like doing this but I would still shoot with Charlie and very selected people um, and then other people get excited again be like oh like shoot with me shoot with me and I'm just it's just like also the way that people would message me and ask me to shoot with them would just be like like, a lot of times people would be really cool that, really nice, really chill, I'm like, awesome. But a lot of the time, people would just be like, hey, I need you for this. Hey, we have to shoot. And it would just, like, rub me the wrong way. Like, like I don't like not answer. I like being able to answer to all of my messages. Like, I don't, I don't, I think it's kind of rude to, like, not respond but it was just, it, I just got so many messages just like stacked up like that, that I was just like, I couldn't even reply anymore. Or I would copy and paste the same reply like, like, oh, no thanks. Like, you know, or a lot of time, you also have to learn how to turn people down and just be honest with people. That is like the most important thing because you don't want to just say yes when you're not really feeling it. So a good way to turn people down is to be honest and tell them, hey, um, if they ask you to shoot, just be like, hey, I looked at your work, your work is great, but it's just not my style, it's not what I want to do, um, but, you know, keep up the good work, good job, and maybe in the future we'll cross paths somewhere, just like something super nice. Maybe I should do a video on how to, like, turn people down. Um, but yeah, that, so that is just, like, my story on, uh, like, how I got into this whole, like, Instagram modeling thing and why I don't do it anymore. Um, yeah, it just made me sad for a while because I, I was just not happy with it. But thanks for watching. Um, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Um, wow, my arm is sore because I've been doing this. Um, anyway, all right, um, go off into the world and make it a wholesome place, uh, spread love, remember that you are beautiful with and without makeup or anything that you are wearing, you're beautiful when you're completely, I don't want to say naked, but you get the point, you're beautiful when you're born, you're beautiful now. And uh, thank you for taking time out of your world in order to step into my world for a bit and see what was up. So thank you, and I will see you in the next video. If I make more, I will make more. Don't worry. Subscribe to encourage me.